How to get the latest Windows 10 update. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com where I've been answering tech questions and handing out tech advice since 2003. Been doing it for quite a while. As I record this, Microsoft has made publicly available the most recent feature update to Windows 10. It's their 2004 update. Uh, the year 20, month four is where that number comes from. And while a lot of people are interested in delaying or avoiding the update, there are people who are interested in getting it sooner and making it happen sooner. I'm one of them. It's one of those things that I need to get on my machine more or less as soon as I can so as to start investigating the various questions that will no doubt arise. I have three techniques for getting the latest feature update and I want to go over those and then I'll show you the technique that I used to actually download and install the most recent Windows 10 update. By far, the best approach is to do nothing. By that I mean my recommendation for most people is to let Windows Update automatically update your machine on its own schedule and that will then include downloading and installing the feature update on its own schedule. There really is no rush. It's not like there's something horribly compelling about this particular feature update, but for any feature update, in general, they're features. They're not the kinds of things that you necessarily need to run into. Security updates are another matter. Those are things that I think you want to take regularly, but honestly, those are things that Windows Update is also going to give you regularly um, on a, a schedule that is appropriately secure. But for feature updates, there's really no rush. So my recommendation for most people is to do nothing and just let it happen as it happens. Now, if you are going to want the feature update as quickly as possible, the technique that I used is simply to go visit Windows Update in the Settings app and ask to check for updates. Eventually, it will actually display for you a message saying, hey, there's a feature update. Uh, would you like to download and install it now? That'll be separate from the check for updates and, and security updates that you'll be getting normally. There'll be a separate box and I'll show you in a moment exactly what that looks like. The third approach is, I'll just call it the bigger hammer. If Windows Update isn't showing you availability for the most recent feature update, the other approach then is to go to the Windows 10 download page and actually download the update yourself manually. There are two approaches there. One is an update button that will essentially do what Windows Update would have done, and that is download the update and install it. The other approach, of course, then is to create installation media for the most recent version of Windows, which would be the one with the feature update, and then use that to perform a refresh install uh, or update in place, if you will, for Windows 10. The advantage for doing the installation media, of course, is that you can download it once and then use it on multiple machines. But by and large, if you can, my recommendation is to wait. My next recommendation is if you're in a hurry to do it through Windows Update. And in all cases, especially if you download it manually, make sure to take a backup first. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at what the steps were that I went through to download and install the latest Windows 10 update on my machine. So we'll start on the start menu, hit the settings option and go directly to updates and security. You'll see that it has several things that are ready for me to update. So I'm going to update those first, but you can also see that there is in fact listed a feature update to Windows 10 version 2004. We'll take that as soon as these updates are done installing. With those installed, it's time for a reboot, which I'm going to do before the feature update. With that out of the way, we return to the machine, re-log in, and go visit the Settings app once again. 
we return to updates and security, then you can see that we're fully up to date. So now it's time to download and install the feature update. Well, that took a while, and of course, it requires another restart. And we're back. Now it's time to log in again. If you'll notice carefully, one thing I've lost in this, though, is my screen resolution. The original resolution was 1920 by 1080, and it's now set to one of the default Windows resolutions. So one of the first things I'll be doing as soon as the login process and final update process completes is readjusting my screen resolution to what I wanted it to be in the first place. Windows feature updates can occasionally lose random settings like that, and it's unfortunate, but fortunately, it's easy to recover from. And there we are. We are now running the latest version. We can quickly double check that by hitting the system uh, display and scrolling down to ensure that indeed it says say version 2004. I hope that was helpful. For links related to the article that this was based on, uh, or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 123789. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.